This is a packing seal replacement video for the E153 series. The tools you will need for this repair include an impact wrench, a 5mm hex, two pry bars, a torque wrench, a soft rubber mallet, a hook tool, a round head tool, a ratchet, an 8mm socket, silicone lubricant, two M6 1mm positioning pins, a slide hammer part number F26019400, a 15mm collet part number 26407400, a 15mm high pressure seal insertion tool part number 660264, a low pressure seal insertion tool, part number 660265, and a seal pusher tool, part number 660263. Use an impact wrench with a 5mm hex to remove the 8 manifold retaining bolts. Use a soft rubber mallet to separate the manifold from the crankcase. Use two pry bars to further separate the manifold from the crankcase. Pull the manifold off the crankcase. With a 15mm collet attached to the slide hammer, insert the collet into the manifold and remove the packing stack. Remove the spacer washer from the packing stack. Use the hook tool to remove the high pressure seal and the head ring. Separate the head ring from the high pressure seal. Use a flathead tool to remove the low pressure seal and the o-ring from the packing stack. Inspect all components and replace as necessary. Inspect the manifold packing bore for pitting, cracking, or other damage and replace the manifold if necessary. Insert the high pressure head ring into the manifold packing bore. Insert the high pressure seal insertion tool. Insert the high pressure seal lip side down. Insert the seal pusher tool to properly seat the high pressure ring. Insert the spacer washer. Place the low pressure seal insertion tool on top of the low pressure seal retainer. Insert the low pressure seal lip side down. Use the pusher tool to properly seat the low pressure seal. Install the packing retainer o-ring onto the packing retainer. Insert the packing retainer seal side up into the manifold packing bore. Use an 8mm socket to remove the plunger bolt. Remove the plunger. Inspect the components. Look closely at the plunger for pitting, cracking, or other damage and replace if necessary. Always replace the plunger bolt seal ring. Use a hook tool and a round head tool to remove the flinger washer. Remove all of the low pressure seal washers. Rotate the crankshaft until the piston guide is at its innermost position in the crankcase. Use a slide hammer with the oil seal removal tool with a tool facing towards the top of the crankcase and insert it into the crankcase to remove the oil seal. Install a new seal, spring side up, onto the seal insertion tool. Install the insertion tool with the new seal into the crankcase. Use a soft rubber mallet to fully insert the new seal. Insert the plunger back onto the guide. Place the new seal ring onto the plunger bolt. Thread the plunger bolt. Use a torque wrench with an 8mm socket and tighten to specifications. 
install the low pressure seal retaining washer with the shoulder towards the crankcase over the plunger bolt. Thread the two positioning pins into the top two outer threads. Apply silicone lubricant onto the surface of the low pressure seal in the manifold packing board. Install the manifold until it is fully seated back onto the crankcase. Thread six of the manifold retaining bolts into the open threads. Use a five millimeter hex to tighten each of the bolts in the proper order as shown in the diagram. Remove the two support pins. Thread the last two manifold retaining bolts. Use a torque wrench with a 5mm hex and tighten the last two bolts.